Hello, Clown Army. Uh, hello, Mark. Thank you for having me. Um, I've already tried to do one of these crib rig run through, whatever you call it, man cave violation chisels. And uh, it just turned into 40 minutes of me rambling about every single bit of gear and where it came from and stories behind it. Just, you know, a cure for insomnia if, uh, if ever I've seen one. So I'm uh, trying again. Going to be more general and brief this time, I hope. And uh, so, welcome to take two. And uh, let's get going. As I'm sure should be obvious, this is like main work area. I only have five screens now. There was a sixth sticking out the end, and I kept walking into it. I'm back down to three max in a row here. Uh, I got rid of one. It was. Uh, just in the way and a friend had better use of it so uh so yeah that's the main area um well when it comes to computer stuff and obviously turn around 90 degrees and there's the main bit of a live hardware rig depending on what i'm doing i might jam through these uh Personas little speakers at the top, which I'm not too fond of. They sound so different to everything else. It completely messes me up every time. But usually stuff goes into it. Yeah, I don't laugh. And a Behringer DJ mixer, but it works. You know, the USB on that goes straight into a computer. It's a good signal. What can I do? Then again, if I want to subtly remix things anyway, I can put stuff individually into... My Personas 18, I'm, I'm not sponsored by Personas, but anyway, <laughs> but uh, Personas 20, um, 1824 IO. Just got these uh, JBLs, I should have got them years ago, really, they're uh, great. They're, most people say they're Adams, but then the people whose music I like the most said JBLs, so that makes sense. Underneath them some Alessis, which aren't bad. There's a whole area here of not used, all fu fully functioning, but just not used speakers, and uh, I think it looks good. Better to have them looking good than just being landfill, I think. I'm having to retire this Trigger Finger Pro. It's just glitching, but can still use it for testing and on things. It's not usually there. I'm just in the middle of something. To the other side, so behind me, when I'm sat the computer, to one side of the rig, there's um, this tower of stuff. And literally, just in the last two minutes, this, um, God, what, this 30, 40 year old sampler has just died in the last two minutes. Well, it, it, it's eaten the operating system disk. It's just replacing the drive, but it's just a kerfuffle, you know what I mean? I've, I've also got, um, in here, I've got a couple more. Uh, the S950 and the Yamaha A3000. The 3000 works fine, I've just not used it much, but the 950 definitely needs for drive replacing. This, until very recently, this was an area where any kit that just wasn't fitting, either spaceways or sound-wise, if it just wasn't fitting with the main rig, I'd make a secondary rig. And I've had some fun jams, I've recorded some fun stuff. But this has turned more now into a kind of repair workshop, which is why it's so messy. My uh, beloved old um, Alessis SR16 is throwing out random MIDI notes now and then. I've got a effects unit here off a uh, good mate Swifty that's just getting really warm. I seem to have wiped everything off my uh, TD3. The good old SP808, completely fine though. I've just got uh, no room for it next to the other one. <laughs> Right, so, moving around, anti-clockwise, and get more. Uh, just got a Chromebook there. I've had some random computers sat there the whole time. It's just if I ever have a guest who just wants to do some basic internet stuff without messing up any of my music stuff, you know, there's somewhere for them to be. 
Alright, I'm going to have a, uh, can't remember if this is a, called a G3 or a G4, but beautiful old Mac, you know, 50 quid off eBay. Uh, I'm going to find a use for that just because it's just a beautiful thing. I've managed to say in five minutes what took me 40 minutes last time, so I'm quite chuffed. <laughs> Alright, see ya.